Okay, hi everyone. Today I want to talk about my thoughts about like how you can use your skates for uh, like uh, every time you go out you should be able to use your skates even if it's a short or long thing you're gonna do. I think um, uh, this is what I want to talk about. And uh, the main issue for me has been that it takes so much time to put your inlines on and put your safety gear on and everything and all I want to do is go to the grocery store or the, or the post office or grabbing some fast food or something and uh, so it's kind of faster to just run there or take my shoes on and go there but it's, it's super boring to do that and there's no other way for me to skate right now because of my situation with a lot of children and corona and everything so I don't have those like 20 minutes or 30 minutes to go out and skate. So this is like the time, I, I will have to use my time really efficiently. And I would want to use the skate efficiently and think of them as something that helps me in my ordinary life. So um, let's start with uh, the first thing I changed was like how to put on my inlines. And I'm gonna show you uh, like my quick way to do it because that was pretty tedious before. So I will go grab my inlines. So what I did here with my skates is like the main thing that took a long time was actually tying the skates. Now I, uh, I just lace them like uh, to like the lowest part here and it's very loose. So I don't use uh, the tying system at all and uh, I got used to that. I don't think it matters too much if you're doing these short rides. So I just put them on like this and uh, use the straps and it's pretty fast. And one thing you can do is like when you're skating, you can just uh, tighten them more. So you don't have to tighten it perfectly when you put it on. And the same here. So I just tighten it quickly. And this one as well. Both of these I can tighten during skating. And I will say like, uh, what kind of protection um, do I have? And I actually, uh, I'm trying out like a very lightweight protection now. I skated for two weeks without any protection at all uh, and it felt good, like it felt like I was very agile, I could do anything I wanted to, I could grab my phone and, and check like uh, what's on my list to do right now because I have a list, like a to-do list um, and with the, like, with the wrist guard and everything I couldn't really grab my phone even. So I have very lightweight uh, protection and I'm not recommending this at all to you. Uh, but I'm trying to uh, skate very safe and uh, still have some protection. So for my knees, I actually have these uh, uh, rehab uh, sleeves and I guess they will, they will not at all help against impact, uh, high impact or anything, but uh, I think against scrapes they might help. And getting a scrape is not very fun. I've, I've had that, if you get a scrape on your knee, uh, I, I couldn't skate for a week because uh, every time I bend my knees, it kind of opened up again, uh, the bruises. So uh, I'm having these for my knees. Also these rehab sleeves will of course help out with stabilizing your knee. I think it will help, help out uh, if you're jumping a lot or uh, if you're having some little bit of injury or uh, you're on a bad surface or anything, it's good. Maybe a good practice to, to use uh, rehab skills. At least for me, I'm so old. So <laughs> oh, I, I forgot to mention that sometimes, some days, it's really rainy or it's a bad weather, it's a lot of dirt on the road and stuff, so it's good to have an extra pair of inlines at home. So for those days, I'm actually using my Imperials, with like very modded with the rain liners and uh, some <laughs> 3WD uh, uh, rollerblade uh, frames. Uh, you get kind of uh, uh, higher up from the ground, you don't get very dirty from these, I think. Um, and they have a different fit, so because I'm trying to downsize all the time, when I'm downsizing it kind of hurts in some parts of my foot, so that I can uh, uh, use some inlines that are uh, fitting in another way, that hurts in another way. <laughs> but it's good to, to mix, to have a few different inlines for, for these occasions. So that's when it's raining. But uh, so for protecting my my elbows, I'm using a regular leather jacket. This one I bought when I was 20 years old. I think <laughs> it's very old. But uh, it uh, it also uh, protects against uh, scrapes only. So it will still hurt. 
so don't use high speed, of course. Um, <laughs> so, um, the other thing I've started to use is not to use the backpack. Using a backpack is very slow for me. When I'm collecting things and putting them in the backpack, everyone has to wait for me, for example, in the grocery store. It's, it's very cumbersome. <laughs> um, as you see, I also added the helmet here. I usually, the helmet is in the front here. So usually when I go out, I just put this on like this. <laughs> um, and this kind of bag is very convenient, I, I promise you. Uh, I put on the hat, that. And then when I'm, for example, when I'm in the elevator, I can, I can put on my helmet, this. And it's, it's pretty fast. I will not lose any time for that. Um, so now I'm ready to go. Uh, of course, my, my hands are not protected at all. So inside the bag, I have like uh, some lightweight gloves from PowerSlide. I decided to buy these uh, off-road ones. And they will as well, they will not protect from, from impact, but, fr but from uh, scrapes as well. So you feel a little bit safe, at least. But most importantly, I have like a, a real helmet here. <laughs> helmet is the most important thing. You, you always have to uh, be careful about your brain. Uh, and everyone heard about the story about Jason Marshall. Uh, uh, I don't want to be in that situation. It's a really sad story. So the bag here is really easy to open up like this. And uh, let's, let's pretend now that we go to the grocery store. That we're going into a grocery store and I will show you what to do. I'll just grab some stuff. So, uh, so when going outside, it's really uh, important that you can grab your keys. So you don't want to have like big gloves or anything. And with these ones, I can grab my keys. When I'm on my way to the grocery store, I need to use my phone to check like uh, my tasks, what to do, because I have so many different errands to do. So I'll, I will need to skate and like be able to use my phone at the same time. It's really important with these gloves then, to, to, so that they are lightweight but protecting a little bit at least. Um, so let's pretend now that I'm uh, going into the store, like a grocery store. First thing I do is I just uh, pick off my helmet like that. And you can just put it here. It's really simple. And suddenly you have a small bag here. You can put your uh, hat here or anything. Or like small stuff uh, in the grocery store. So now you're free to go into the grocery store. No one will be scared because they think you're a pro without any protection. Um, and then uh, when you finally decide to what to buy, for example, some milk and some oil and snacks. Uh, so when you bought them, I'm using, I'm using my bag for things that are lightweight and put into the bag. And things that are heavy is generally not that fun to have like uh, in this uh, side bag. Uh, I rather prefer holding them with my hands directly. So put on the helmet. That, uh, the hat, sorry, the helmet. That takes a little bit of time, of course. And then I just hold on to the stuff like that, and then I can ride home safely. So uh, that's my setup for doing quick rounds to actually being able to use my skates every day because I think it's very important to skate a little bit every day to have to get the fun of it and to allow yourself to skate. Even if it's just like 100 meters or anything. And one thing I forgot is that you, I also use some lightweight shoes that I usually have in this bag. So those times when you need to uh, change quickly to shoes, in some like, stores they don't allow wearing inlines. If the guards find you, you're in a bad position. Then you can just have some lightweight shoes in your, in your side bag. And you can just put it here. And, and I like that it's so fast to like switch, open and close and put it over here. And it's not that bad to skate with, even if back, backpack is more stable, of course. I've been using backpack for like three, four years, big backpacks, but I found that this solution is much more quick. If you're not gonna buy a lot of stuff, of course, and use your arms for heavy stuff or big uh, packages. Cool, I think that's all uh, I wanted to share with you for now. See you later. <laughs>